Now our friend looks at this particular proposed solution and has a little question. This dictionary, is it going to be a local variable in our to int lower function? Because if it's a local variable, our friend is raising a valid concern here. Our friend is saying, well, in that case, it's going to be difficult to extend. Let us say we suddenly realize there are a few more words in American spelling that we want to translate into Indian spelling. We forgot to do that at the time. Well, then we'd have to go into the code and extend that dictionary and then rerun our program. Isn't there a more flexible way in which we can separate our code from our data? And that is exactly what we're going to do. This is called data-centric improvements. So what we're going to do is we're going to store these key value pairs not inside the code, but separately in a different file. Let us say a comma separated variable file or a CSV file. This is a common format that allows us, for example, to look at our data and perhaps even edit it in a spreadsheet software, for example, Excel. So you could have, say, two columns, the US spelling and the Indian spelling, and you could keep these in any order you like. They don't have to be sorted in dictionary order because what we're going to do is when our program starts, we're going to take all these key value pairs from the file and use them to initialize our dictionary. And then once our dictionary is set up, we can then look up the spellings of words as they come along. So what we have done is we have now got a fixed program. Every time that program runs, it does exactly the same thing. It reads a file and uses it to initialize a dictionary and then processes some words. But if we improve this file, we will improve the program. This is at the heart of data-centric improvements. It's saying you don't have to touch the code. The code is fixed. The algorithm is fixed. It's simply by improving the data that you can get a better solution, a better program. And this idea is, of course, best exemplified by machine learning. What do we do in machine learning? Well, we have some training data, and we feed this training data to a fixed machine learning algorithm. And what does this algorithm produce? Well, it produces some sort of a model. And this model can be used to answer questions for us. For example, this model could be a classifier, which we can use to tell if a particular patient's x-ray suggests cancer or not. Or it could be a generative AI model, where we feed in some prompt and it generates some artifacts for us, for example, Python code. And the whole point here is, if we are able to give this pipeline better data, then it will produce for us a better model. So data-centric improvements are a very, very important category of improvements. In this particular example that we have, we can improve our program with this data-centric mindset. So look out for it. Many, many programming courses, including this one, focus heavily on algorithm-centric improvements. But we can take this data-centric mindset, one that has proved very successful in the modern age, and use it to further improve our code. Look out for such opportunities in the code that you write.